played in Portland. Like. Yeah, we ha we haven't played in Portland at all, have we? No, we haven't. Yeah. I mean, they invited us. That's the big thing. They yeah. invited us and they offered to pay. <laughs> and of course, you know, I love Portland, and so it's great. Well, we haven't played a show here yet, so why not? The best thing, band related, or just anything? Yeah, oh, yeah. Come on, just tell us. Yeah, Go ahead and put it out there. What? No. That you. No. Uh, what? What? The, what? Your what? personal great thing. That oh, happened. my personal great thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go hear that. I'm. I, I got engaged. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad we were thinking of the same thing. Yeah. Were we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. When's the wedding day? Uh, it's gonna be May of next year. Okay. Yeah. Marrying in LA. No, in uh, Macedonia. Where? Macedonia. <laughs> Is that where she's from? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited. My favorite thing we did this year, we played this show in Iowa City, Iowa that was crazy. Oh, yeah, that was great. That was and it was recorded, too. Well, what happened? It was just one of those sweaty, way overpacked, like, uh, way past capacity clubs, and it was just, it was a college town on a Friday night and everybody was there. That's just, when I think of the my favorite show of the year, that probably was it. The show was bananas. Yeah. Really nuts. Really fun. So they recorded it so I could find it online? Well, they recorded it. We've got the we've got the tracks. Um, we're, I'd like to put together some kind of live record or something. Yeah, like legit bootleg. Yeah. Yeah. Be awesome. Of the show bootleg. Right. Of the show bootleg, yeah. There's just so many things. There's a great year, but one thing that stands out is uh, Dan and I went to Burma together. We were doing a tour that started in Singapore and went to New Zealand and Australia. And Dan has a bunch of friends there. And uh, he said, you know, I'm going. If you want to come, you should come. And so I went. So what's the best thing about Burma? The best thing about Burma? What do you think? I don't know. I just, it was a completely new experience for me. I've never been to Asia before. Uh, saw some really crazy things. Like Dan eating field rat? Dan, Dan ate some rat. I ate some barbecued rat. I heard that was fried rat. I wasn't there, but it was Bar barbecued. Barbecued rat. That's yeah. a little better, right? It's tasty. Yeah. Tasty. It's good. Is it high in protein, I bet? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, they're running around and they're grain fed, free range. It was it was field. He made field sure to find rat. out it was yeah. field rat, not city rat. Yeah. My my friend uh, Sarah Sarah too was like he was like don't worry it's not city rat it's field rat it's okay. I wanted to see that band Park Eight Chords, but they're playing so late. Are they playing tomorrow? They're playing they're playing tomorrow too. Yeah, during like earlier in the evening. Yeah, you should definitely check them out. They're really good. Um, we just saw Ty Seagal. Ty Seagal. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. That show was rad. He started acoustic, like kind of T Rexy. This great, like reverb. Everybody had this weird, like old, fuzzy reverb on their voices, and then it just slowly the set turned into like a punk rock meltdown. Cool. They were playing acoustic guitars. Awesome. It was great. It's really, really good. Is it really good? The vo vocalists usually started the song, you know? Yeah. Or I, I started one song and I sent it to you, you always had, did vocals on it. Mm. And then, yeah, occasionally we'll just jam out something with the band and then, like, uh, for Would That Not Be Nice, that was, a, that was a band jam that Sam and Britt and I did and then recorded on a, recorded on an iPhone and then Britt turned it into a song. Just basically edited it. Yeah, whoever comes up with the vocals gets to sing it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty basically much. It. Yeah, that's a good deal. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how it works. Because that's yeah. the hard part, is coming up with those Come on words. In, does somebody knock? <laughs> Can't tell if it's for us or that other. Okay. No, I think it's for Andrew Bird. <laughs> oh, is that Andrew over there? I think so. Oh, is it? Because I kind of walked in and then I I didn't oh, look yeah, at who I didn't look at who it was. I was hearing some vocal warm-ups. So. I would have said hello. Um, okay. Um, make it quick. Oh, it's you. Hey. Did I nearly walk in here? Uh, yeah. When you were in here earlier, uh, I just didn't look up and see you. Dude, okay, I cool. Good you. to see you, man. Yeah. It's quirky. It's quirky. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's, we should probably tell us something about each other, right? Probably, yeah. I'm trying to think of something about you. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Do you have it. any quirks? 
Yeah, I guess so. I, I mean... No, but I need I, to think of it. Do you have... I'm trying to think if you have any for it. Uh, well, right. here's one. I would I would drink a frozen margarita every night if I could. How about that? That's good. Yes. Yeah. I like that. Um, Alex tests his possibly gay friends by sending them nearly nude photos of himself. <laughs> <laughs> and built a slip and slide in his own house recently. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It was pretty cool. Where's your house? <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna no come way. knocking. <laughs> Whenever you want to slip inside, come on over. Oh, I grew up in British Columbia, so we're playing Squamish, Squamish Fest. Squamish? Squamish Fest, yeah. What's yeah, what does that mean? What? Explain that to us. Squamish? Yeah. It's, a, it's an area. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe uh -huh. it's Coast Salish. It's a native, native word, Squamish. Squamish. And yeah. when we we fly into Vancouver, right? Yeah. And then do Squamish we? Squamish is just a little bit north of Vancouver. <clears throat> I think we're staying in Vancouver. Oh, okay. I thought it was further away. Yeah. Good. Squamish Fest. Yeah. We're gonna be playing that, and I think my dad is gonna be there. Oh, which is gonna be Will this be his first time to finally see us? Yeah. Because there's been a lot of maybes. Yeah. There's gonna be, there's been a lot of like uh, almost suses. Yeah. 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 So this is uh, it'll be good. You can't get on stage because I've played a bunch of shows that my dad has been at, or yeah, I'm sure you've played a bunch of shows that your parents have been at, you know, and you can't, if you know your dad's in the audience, you can't get up there and suck, for one thing. We managed to do that in Dallas, though. Yeah, we did, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. 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 In front of my dad. <laughs> we, we, yeah, yeah, we did we not did do not a good show. Have a good show. <laughs> that was totally Sorry, not our dad. fault, though. Well, I think it was just my fault. No. Well, whose fault was it? I think it was the sound guy's fault. It's the monitor guy's fault. Okay. We were set up in Larry Hagman's actual, um, what, his Airstream, his old Airstream. Airstream trailer. Yeah. And so we got so excited by that, we just were drinking and partying and living it up like Larry Hagman would, and then yeah. sleeping in Larry Hagman's bed. Yeah, a bunch of Larry bed. Hagman's. And, were, there, uh, were there portraits then, of Larry Hagman? There was an there amazing was picture of him yeah. in some kind of weird, like, uh, sort of early or mid-70s, like, apocalyptic cult outfit, like, with the, like, like white robes. Yeah, it was a robe. That was bizarre. <laughs> it was like solar temple cult robes or some crazy. But somehow we did not channel that into our best show. No, it was weird. Yeah. Alex and I went to Mississippi Records and bought nice. a, just a shitload of records. But I found this record by this band called Chrome. Uh, they're like a San Francisco super underground band from the 70s a sci-fi punk rock band way, way ahead of their time. Sci-fi? Like, recorded everything on four track, and they have this record called Alien Soundtracks. That's amazing. That sounds really interesting. And still sounds like it could, it, it could have been recorded, like, yesterday. It's really, really, really great. You think I can find that online? Sure. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, cool. Chrome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, something I've been listening to lately is... Uh, Taking drugs to make music to take drugs to. Back to Basement 3. It's a good record. It is a good record. Great record. I can't find it anywhere. So you've just been listening online? Oh, yeah. Is the first place you heard it at Third Man? Yeah. Well, that Dale Watson record that came out last year, The Sun Sessions, is really good. I think that's my favorite record he's made. It's very authentic sound. It sounds like a, it sounds like a Johnny Cash record, but with Dale Watson's type of songs. Yeah, that's cool. Buy the new Factory Floor record when it comes out on August 8th.